Hi, this is Mary Hood coming to you live on my very first YouTube uh, video on my new YouTube channel. I actually had one since 2011 with eight subscribers and one video, which I just deleted. <laughs> but um, so I'm not particularly technological, obviously, but I've been around a long time in the homeschooling movement. Um, I have a PhD in education. I homeschooled my own kids since the time they were um, kindergarten all the way up to the time they graduated from high school. They all went on to college and are now successful adults. Um, I also um, have ha I've been a s an evaluator in Pennsylvania for a while. I've run several resource centers for a total of about um, maybe 20 years worth of running resource centers. So I have a lot of experience uh, in homeschooling. I've written several books. Uh, again, I'm known as the Relaxed Homeschooler. My early one was just simply called The Relaxed Homeschool. And then the one that I recently wrote was called The Relaxed Homeschooler Rides Again. And this one is available on Amazon as an ebook, also if you're interested. Uh, I run a nonprofit organization known as Archers for the Lord, the Association of Relaxed Christian Home Educators. So obviously, I'm like the expert, right? <laughs> I've been doing this for probably 30 years at least. I have a PhD in it. I've successfully raised my kids. I've worked with other kids. But you know what? Don't listen to me unless it resonates with you. Because the important thing here is that you want to take back control of your family and your education. So no matter who you're listening to, if it doesn't make sense for your family, move on. All right. But you're going to find that my way of doing business is all about being a family and being more relaxed. And I'm going to do a whole series of little videos, very short ones, um, on this channel. That's, going, that's designed to help you decide if this is the way you want to go and make the transition from this silly crisis schooling mode some of you have been in for a long time uh, to an actual homeschooling type environment. So the topic of this particular one is the, the question of can you homeschool? All right. The answer is yes. <laughs> It's really just that simple. Um, there are, of course, a variety of issues. Some of you may work full time. Some of you may have other issues that you have to deal with. Um, but the reason I say an in unequivocal yes, you can homeschool is because to me, after having been in this movement, as worked with so many, many, many homeschoolers over the years, I've learned that there's really only two requirements to be a good homeschooler. And one is that you have to love your kids and really want the best for them and want to be a family together. All right? And the second one is that you have to have a kind of a can-do attitude, especially toward learning, that you have to either love learning yourself or be willing to cultivate that attitude in yourself. And I know that you have all that or you wouldn't be here watching me. If you didn't care about your kids, you wouldn't be watching a video about homeschooling. You know, if you didn't have at least the ability to go Google something, you wouldn't be here either. All right, so I know that about you already. I, I know that you're competent, but I also know that a lot of you feel un incompetent for lots of reasons. And one thing you have to uh, identify that little voice in your head that's saying things like, oh, you don't know algebra, you can't homeschool a high schooler, or uh, how can you do this? You, you don't have the patience to homeschool. That's one of the big ones. Or, you know, how, how can I possibly teach them how to read, you know, when, when they have all these degrees and so forth for the people that are trying to teach them to read in school. And, and of course, those are all, I'm not saying they're not valid issues, but they're things that you, you can deal with one way or another. Uh, the competence issue, well, you don't have to know everything that you're going to try to teach your children. You know, when I, when I, there are other people that can help you, obviously, is what my point is. When I wanted to, when my high, kids started getting into high school, and the two subjects I had the most difficulty with are m biology and chemistry. There wasn't anything available in the area at that time, so I actually started a resource center primarily for that purpose, all right? But nowadays, there are so many resources readily available to you, from private tutors to, you know, tutoring uh, centers, a variety, the, the resource centers that are available out there, the co-ops, whatever. You can find somebody to help you with those issues that are tough. And if you're somebody that does have to go uh, out to work during the day, well, Again, I don't know your situation exactly, but maybe you could take them with you. I know a young lady who has a dance studio. Maybe she can take them 
uh, to the dance studio with her for at least part of the daytime. Um, maybe you could hire uh, a homeschool teenager to come in and help out for part of the day. Um, if you have teenagers yourself, maybe they can be helping someone with the younger kids, although be a little careful of that. You can burn out teenagers pretty quickly, and you don't want to <laughs> have your net result being that your teenage girls don't ever want to be mothers because they were burned out from doing it when they're younger siblings. Uh, but, but the point is that, that it's just this attitude of trying to figure out something and work it out. But yes, you're competent. And I know that because nobody loves your kids as much as you do. Nobody knows them as well as you do. And nobody else is with them in the long haul like you are. That's why you're the expert that matters. Will you seek out the help of experts? Of course you will. All right, we all do. All right, but seeking out the help of experts, remaining in control, the control aspect is what you're going for here. And what about the whole thing about I'm not patient enough to teach my kids at home? Well, I think the, the, the thing there is to realize that patience is not a character trait. It's a fruit of the Holy Spirit. If you're Christian, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, you know, it's something that develops, like in a garden, you know. You water it, you put it in the right soil, and you develop it. The question is, are you willing to develop it? Or are you just going to sit around going, well, I'm not patient enough to teach my kids. <laughs> I'm, I'm too dumb. I, you know, it's that can-do attitude you have to develop, all right? And if you can do that, a little by little, and, and as a Christian, I firmly believe God's going to help you with this because no matter what your own religious beliefs are, what I do know is that he loves families, you know, and he wants families to succeed. And the, the whole crisis school thing right now has got so many people just tied up in knots because bottom line is you're being asked to do something in your own home that's not in your control. You're not, you haven't set the goals. You're being told, you know, sit in front of this computer for this many hours a day. You know, and in many cases, some of the curriculum materials developed these days, unfortunately, my PhD is in the area of curriculum and instruction, but it's just some of them just aren't designed really with child development in mind, all right? So you can develop the patience, you can develop the competence, and in areas where you either can't or don't want to teach your, your kids yourself, like with me, biology and chemistry. I could. I could study ahead of them. I could learn, but I don't want to. And that's perfectly okay. You don't have to want to do all of it, you know. But, but you can find other people that will, that will help you if, uh, if that's your desire, all right? So the competency issue, I hope I've dealt with that already. Um, if, and, and here's the thing. Again, you have to learn. This is my first YouTube video. And I'm about to tell you, hey, hit the little subscribe button in the, in the uh, corner. And I really hope that I'm going to figure out how to put a little subscribe button in the corner. <laughs> if you want to uh, stay in touch, do that. Subscribe one way or the other, whether or not I can figure out how to do that. Uh, and also, we have a Facebook group with the same title, Relaxed Homeschooling with Mary Hood. So join there if you'd like to, and to facilitate getting in, answer the one or two questions. All right, my next video is going to be on should you homeschool. All right, this one was a can you homeschool. Good luck and welcome to the movement.